Hey guys, Into the Stars, and I believe this will be one of the most important videos that, that I've ever made because I believe we've just about solved the riddle of the number eight. I'm going to go very slow on this video because I want everyone who watches it to understand exactly what's going on here. We started out with the Fermilab 8. This is the Perfect Figure 8 accelerator. This 8 is on the 88 longitudinal parallel near Chicago. We also know that it takes 88 miles an hour to go back to the future. And this movie took place at the tunnel near the Griffith Observatory, which is where the Hollywood sign is that has the double O's as well, which hints to infinity. And we also know that 0.88 miles from the Hollywood double O's there is another perfect eight above the reservoir in Hollywood, all in this area. We also know that there were other time travel movies dealing with the number 88. Buckaroo Banzai, which also was filmed at the Griffith Observatory. Terminator, which also has a scene from Griffith Observatory. And Who Framed Roger Rabbit, which is also filmed at the Griffith Observatory and is a movie about alternate realities. We also know that the serpent signifies infinity. The serpent eating its own tail. And we just covered the movie 88.88 .88, in which my birthday showed up on a clock. My birthday, March 29th, being the 88th day of the year. And it basically showed my life over the past two years, except that this film came out before many of these events took place. The conquering of night terrors is what this film is all about, which is what I suffered from in childhood. Now this movie released on March 7th, which is the 66th day of the year. Okay, so here's the deal. Time travel. We're going to look at a screenshot from this movie and I'm going to tie all this together and it is going to make perfect sense to you. The Bible says they will seek to change times and laws and I believe that this is what is happening and this is how they knew what our journey would be before we did. A few things I want you to notice here on these magazine covers. She's looking at a magazine cover from 1999 the year President Clinton was acquitted in Y2K. We also hear, see here the name of the magazine, Tempest. Now you saw the title of the magazine named Tempest. And Tempest is a Latin word for time. Now this film has nothing to do with time. Yet, they have a magazine cover. Tempest, which is the Finnish name for time. Here is our Finnish, Swedish, and Germanic roots, which we've talked about, relating to the number 8 as well. It is all tying in together, but this is where it gets a little unsettling. Tempest was a demon that could manipulate time in the television series Charm, portrayed by David Carradine. Now in this very same shot of the movie, you see the number 72 repeated. And David Carradine died at 72 years old. We also see the date that he died encoded into the zip code on the letter 63, the beginning and the end with the 72 in the middle. His birth date, December 8, 1936, again encoded into the zip code. Now, he died long before this film came out. The point is, is they're linking David Carradine 
to the Tempest magazine with these numbers. Okay? They're like they're saying there's a connection here and we're showing you. All you need to do is look. The truth is there.